So hello and um, welcome to the first episode of um, Frosty's OP. So what is this channel about? That's what this episode is going to cover today. Um, we're going to be doing basically stuff that I do in my life that I find interesting. So it's a vlogging lifestyle channel. Uh, right now I am in the Arboretum in Nottingham in the UK. And uh, it's a, uh, as you can see, it's gorgeous. Very quiet on a Sunday. <laughs> not much going on. I thought it was a good place to, uh, to have a little chat so we're not just stuck indoors, you know, could be out and about. And um, right, so uh, the things I like to do. Uh, outdoorsy things. I'm a rollerblader. I've been blading since I was 11. So ice skating and uh, roller skating. Skateboarding. I'm pretty rubbish at skateboarding, but I give it a go. I found out that I've been pushing with the wrong foot after skateboarding for about 20 years because uh, I've been pushing with my left foot with my skateboard with my foot at the back and riding that way when in fact I really should be doing it that way because you're supposed to have the leg that you push and jump from at the back and I've been having it at the front so I'm going to learn to skateboard all over again and the way I found that out was um, from snowboarding because when the winter I like to ski and I am going to try and start to learn to snowboard. I've done a little bit so far. You know, I've, I've been to the dry ski, or sorry, the indoor ski slope, and I managed to, you know, go down, turn, go both ways, etc., etc. But uh, hopefully, this winter that's coming, I'll uh, get on the slopes with the snowboard and see how I get along. So we're going to do that, cover that as well. So that's kind of the uh, the outdoorsy stuff. And you know, when I go out and about, we'll uh, we'll cover that as well. And uh, to start off as well, what we're going to do is, um, for the first few episodes, I have actually shot some, a series called Out and About. And what that was, was me sort of rollerblading around sort of different parts of the world. So I did one in uh, Bermuda. Uh, I did another one in Paris. And I did one in Toronto. So after this episode, uh, we will release those. And at the moment, because, you know, we're just trying this out, see how it's going. Um, I'm going to be releasing probably every couple of weeks, maybe a little bit more often, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, so there's lots of stuff planned. And um, on the uh, on the sort of the other side of things, my other interests. Okay, I'm a complete nerd. All right, total nerd. So love my sci-fi, and uh, I mean sci-fi. Okay, uh, not not fantasy. That's one of the things that really bugs me is you sort of see trailers on YouTube, it's like top sci-fi films for like, you know, 2019. And you, um, you look at it and it's like Avengers and superheroes. It's not uh, sci-fi, it's fantasy. All right, I like sci-fi, space sci-fi. That's, that's my thing. My favorite film of all time is Blade Runner. I absolutely adore Blade Runner. And not the sequel, the first one. The sequel just went on forever and ever, you know? And I just like, oh. They kind of overdid it, but the original with the Vangelis music, absolutely awesome. And obviously Harrison Ford's like brilliant in it. So sci-fi, you know, I'll be talking a bit about sci-fi. I also read sci-fi. Uh, I've got a book in my bag. I'll dig it out in a minute and talk a little bit about that. And um, other nerdy things. Okay, I love my space stuff. So, you know, I'm really heavy on um, watching all the, the, the stuff that's happening with SpaceX and uh, Blue Origin and Rocket Lab and uh, all this kind of stuff. So for example, uh, literally just the other day, uh, there was the Falcon 9 launch uh, CRS-17, okay? And obviously last month we had the Falcon Heavy actually launch a real payload. So that was really cool. But the launch that happened literally just the other day, CRS-17, if you haven't seen it on YouTube, you need to watch it because it is the best uh, footage of the booster rocket landing. Uh, because it was actually landing on the barge, but it was actually just slightly offshore, uh, they were able to get a really good camera on it, and it was at night, so they used an infrared camera, and it is like picture perfect. You can see it clearly coming down, and it looks like a match dropping out of the sky. And then the booster lights at the bottom, and it looks like a match, like flaming, falling. And it looks so good. And then they had the actual cam onboard camera, uh, which did not cut out, and it actually showed the booster come right down onto the launch pad so that was brilliant so CRS 17 is the uh, was the launch code so it's the 17th launch that they've done for NASA and I think they've got another nine to go and then literally just this morning 
uh, Rocket Lab launched uh, the Electron rocket. You don't really hear about Electron. You know, it's the little rocket, and they've got a, a play, base in, uh, in the States, and they've got a one launch pad in New Zealand. And uh, they uh, launched uh, a rocket literally this morning. And they always have um, funny names to them. So um, uh, that's a funny looking cactus. That was the name of their rocket that went up today. And I think it was launching communication satellites. But uh, not much else happening sort of space-wise uh, with launches uh, this month in May. It's all pretty quiet. I think there's uh, something going from Baikonur at the end of the month. But next month uh, in June, all sorts of things going. You know, there's a Falcon 9. There might be a Falcon 9 this month, but it's not been uh, announced yet. Uh, but next month we've got Falcon 9 Heavy, uh, we've got a Soyuz rocket going up as well and I believe we've got um, a, a, a Ariane rocket going out of uh, Guyana. So yeah, all good, I like watching all that kind of stuff, really into that, you know, following all the dramas with the Dragon Capsule and so forth. Uh, you know, they had a bit of a setback but uh, luckily it's not seemed to have affected things too much because at the end of the day we need sort of you know, Blue Origin and SpaceX and stuff to succeed because you know, governments, you know, sort of NASA and, you know, and Roscosmos and so forth, you know, these guys, they get politics behind them and it just slows everything down. So it's all, all exciting stuff. So really into my space stuff. And then video games. I do, I'm a gamer, uh, but I'm not a, like a sort of a twitchy console gamer. It's not my thing at all. I like my strategy games and thinking games and stuff like that. So um, I'm EVE Online player. So I've, I've been playing EVE Online for, what is it, five years now? And uh, I keep taking little breaks every now and again. So I've been taking a two month like break at the moment, but I will get back into it. Haven't got my Titan yet. We'll get it eventually. You know, I've got a few more months of training and then I've got to try to get you know, everything I need to get the Titan. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I can cover EVE Online if you guys are into that. Uh, although I've been heavily distracted by Factoria. Oh, that game is so addictive. It is brilliant. I mean, it's like if you like building stuff, you know, like city building games, then Factorio is, is, is superb. And, uh, you know, it was, there's always something that you need to do to keep it going and, and, and it just draws you in. So amazing game, considering it's still not officially released. You know, it works perfectly, loads of features in it and loads of mods as well. You know, so you don't can't get bored of the game. You can download more mods and, and uh, add to the game. So I highly recommend Factoria. Um, okay, so uh, oh, let me tell you about my book. So what am I reading at the moment? So uh, at the moment I am reading Gary Gibson, Stealing Light. And it is part of the Shoal trilogy. Now the Shoal are essentially the way that they, the premise of these uh, books is that there's only one species that has faster than light travel. They have something called a transluminal drive. And then all the various species have to then use the shoal in order to colonize planets and so forth. So they're kind of overbearing, overruling species. And it's a story, This the first book covers essentially um, a uh, group within, uh, well, a colony uh, from, uh, of humans who uh, discover a ship that is a, uh, a wreck that is a, has a transluminal drive on it. And it's the story of about them trying to uh, obtain this ship. And the main character is uh, an augmented human being who they uh, contract as their pilot. Um, but okay, uh, I really didn't get into the characters that much. Uh, I didn't really, wasn't really drawn into the characters. I thought the freeholders were a bit, uh, didn't really fit with me, you know, as a space, varying species you know their, their way of life just didn't seem to match but you know good story uh, but I'll do a proper book thing at some other time uh, because there's a, a, another author I want to cover who is absolutely brilliant called Neil Asher and uh, so I'll do that in more detail and I'll do that from home uh, so that's about it um, so it's brightening up a little bit now that's one of the things that obviously being British you know we always talk about the weather and uh, the reason why we talk about the weather for those of you who are not British it's because from one minute to the next, from one day to the next, you don't know what the weather's going to do. You know, so today it's pretty chilly, but it's all right. And that's why I got my gloves on and everything. Um, but it's nice and bright and it's not windy. But then tomorrow it could be like absolutely bright sunshine and, and be gorgeous weather. And everyone's running around in little skimpy outfits, you know. So 
you just don't know from one day to the next and then two days later it's, it's hell and blah. So that's about it, that's my intro. Uh, so once again, welcome to my channel. Uh, I've probably forgotten some stuff I wanted to cover, but uh, you know, I don't want to ramble on for too long. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, stick around, you know, subscribe, do all that kind of usual YouTube thing. I'm new to this YouTube stuff, so bear with me. And uh, hopefully you'll like the videos that we're going to release over the next uh, over the next few weeks. And uh, obviously, please leave comments. And if you want to talk me talk about particular subjects or do an episode about a particular subject on the things that I've talked about today, then uh, let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right. Okay. Time to. Uh, Pack up shop, I think. What do you think? Yeah? Time for lunch? Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go do lunch. Okay. All right then. Mm.